I, I think it's Gosh. we're running to a point where you can no longer put off the vegetables, and I know it's it's already the second episode. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm I'm also stuck on this kindling because I remember every time I play this game, they actually do like a seriously good job of like hiding it. I haven't. We haven't found a single piece, have we? No. Has it even spawned in yet? Maybe it hasn't. Maybe that's a thing. Okay. You know what? Let's in that go, case, we uh, let's go meet vegetables. our demise here in the vegetable garden. We don't have a basket yet, I don't think. Do we? No, we don't. Good call. Did he, call. did he even give us the task, or are we just like quaking in anticipation? Let's check in with Shorty real quick. I believe he killed us. I remember it. It was like a death sentence. Pick those vegetables yep. for me yet? <laughs> Not yet. I need those vegetables, Nancy. Okay, Shorty. All right. So for those of you who are not uh, predeterminedly inclined, this puzzle's horrible, <laughs> and we are very bad at vegetables. Beef steak. Okay. You gotta beef go steak to is the, the easiest one because those are the red is just ripe, so you can go and pluck those. Okay, but is this a beef steak or is this a golden queen? Oh, that's totally a beef steak. Okay. I'd say so. Okay, uh, now, golden seriously queen. I hope though. you're right. I'm. I want to say that golden queen is bicolored which is like the red on the bottom, orange on the top. Those are the ripe ones. Basically, we're trying to figure out uh, which of these vegetables are ripe and which ones aren't. And if we pick the wrong ones, Shorty will literally murder us. That's true. He takes a shotgun and kills us. <laughs> Golden Queen. Tomatoes. Okay. Beef steak, red and white. Northern Lights. Orange, yellow and ripe? There's so, two of those, yeah. So it's positive? Yeah. I'd say so. Oh, I didn't even look at Black Turtle. I don't think any of these, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Either all of them are ripe or none of them are ripe. They're all the same. Okay, what's on the other side? Romano. Romano. Okay, so are they either all crinkly and dried up, or are they fresh oh and green? Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Romano should be bush and pole. Whatever that means. I don't know what either of those words mean <laughs> in terms of describing vegetables. Oh, my goodness. Fine, I'm... Okay, I'm searching what the words bush and pole mean. Jimmy, you've done this pu pu puzzle so many times. And I've never understood it every time. <laughs> Bicolored when ripe, okay. Bush and pole. Old ivory. Golden white when ripe. I don't think there's any... Doesn't look like it, no. No, no I did not want to see a picture of a bush and a pole. Northern lights are bicolored when ripe, so is... Would you say oh, it's the, it's the red with the yellow on top? Yeah, those ones. That's gotta be it. That's one of the easy ones. Okay, Romano. So it's either these two or these four. <laughs> there are no definitions for bush and bull. Oh, okay. no. Uh, I, okay, thinking logically, it would probably be ripe when it's no longer green. Because, like, when a banana's ripe, it's yellow. And when it's not ripe, it's green. So should I yolo it? Yeah, I think so. Get the get the, the crinkly brown ones. Okay. It's so hot. Uh oh, get oh no. That's, right away. that's not a bad line. Go ahead and take him in. If she says it again next time and then teleports you, then you're in dead. The... Yeah, you're dead. Those vegetables for me yet? Let's you see. Betcha. Some of this stuff's overwrapped. <gasps> we did it. Just it. Heck yeah. Now, second thing I need That's to horrible. do for me is Ooh. go out to the chicken like coop a... and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. Uh, that was like a tremendous weight off my chest. That was and really don't scary. Build me that campfire like I asked. Yeah, sure thing, Shorty. Right. Okay. Oh man, so I guess he said some things were overripe, so maybe that was the uh, the Romano beans, because they looked a bit dried up. It's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. What do we have here? Ah, first bit of a so, wait, kindling that, found. Okay. So the well, now that I know that it spawns, I kind of just want to like investigate. Yeah, go ahead and have a look around then. Hmm. They do such a good job of putting this at really inconvenient screens. I think there might be one at the end of the... Yeah, there yep. it is. I thought I saw that earlier, but we were busy in vegetable mode. Mm. Oh, is there one in that in the corner there by the pump house? No. No, that's where we just got one. My bad. I thought I saw another one. I remember there's one over here by the chicken coop, but I don't. There we go. Is there one maybe when you turn around? That's what I thought. Is While we're here, we could just get the eggs. Right here. Oh, right. there. Yeah, you're right. That's got to be all of them, I think. Might be a fifth somewhere, but I don't know for sure. Hey, you. Oh, that's right. The uh, aggressive chicken. Are uh -oh. there any eggs in here? Uh, this is bad. Oh. Nice. Oh, no. Nancy drew two eggs. Two yeah, that was egg a sincere maker. waste. Oh, we're on senior mode, aren't we? I, I don't, don't think this would be different, though. It's not going to be that much harder, I'll bet. Here, you just had it right there, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, now yeah, you got it. 
All right, fairly straightforward puzzle. Just gotta connect the parallelograms. A very commonly seen Nancy Drew puzzle. Actually, no, these are trapezoids. Pardon me. <laughs> I don't know why. I Wait, what? Never forgot all the different shapes that they taught me in school, even though it's like very oh, yeah. useless information. What are the weirdest shape names you remember, Jelan? Like trapezium. They... A what? I don't know. Like, did they did they ever teach you like a uh, dodecagons? Yeah. The the twelve sided twelve sided shape. I don't know what comes after dodecahedrons. Dodeca uh, Dodecahedron is like the scary stuff. Isodeca something. <laughs> the I I icosahedron from Midnight in Salem. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Mhm. Mm Find the this piece at the bottom with the arrow in it. That's the only one that can go at the top. Wait, yeah. There we go. True. It's a little freebie. That one goes. All right, I'm actually speeding on through this. No. This. Yeah, they're upside down. Uh, rotate that once, and then you got it above. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, there we go. Let's not waste two more yeah. eggs, Nancy. Am I good or what? You're great. Voila! Beautiful. I like how you can actually solve that puzzle before. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I you, forgot, yeah, you're you right. You can solve the puzzle before you even get the eggs, because if Nancy just looks at it in her inventory, it'll let her solve it. Oh, this is tragic. Okay, so there's no eggs in here. We'll come back later then. So I think there's still one more piece of kindling. I mean, it might be by the door. Let's see. Something goes here. Could it perhaps be watered up paper? So far, so good. I need more kindling. For real, season Nancy? Okay. There's like one more piece. Uh, isn't it somewhere by the campfire? I think it's some. Oh, there it is. Uh, to your left. It was, it was right to the left oh, of the door. I missed it. Now just 180. There you go. Yep. Good call. A good eye. All right. That should be all now. Yeah, five pieces should certainly be enough. So far, so good. Do, 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 that should do. do it. That is. If only building fires looked this nice. And yeah, easy. I love a good well fire building. Yeah. I always I try to. So I always try to build it like this. Fire, <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. The TP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right then. Uh, we got. Oh, we should go get more eggs, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if they already respond. Dave. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How are you, How David? Long have you worked here? <laughs> about as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Shorty likes that to talk. That Shorty sure likes to talk, doesn't he? He does his job, and he does it good. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. All right. So, he's according, all to, according, to, da according to, to Dave, Shorty's Gus a good cook, George. though. Their plane's hmm. been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. <laughs> Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Ma'am? Come on, oh boy, not messing with that one. Yeah, the white chicken is uh, quite the menace. I think you can get one freebie if you are wanna. You, are you brown egg gang or white egg gang? <sighs> I can't taste the difference, but I just like the brown eggs more. <laughs> of course there's no difference. Yeah, I like brown <laughs> eggs more too. Oh, uh, we gotta wait for this son of a gun. Well, that's five eggs already. I know, but he's sitting on the last one. <laughs> oh, chicken! I'm curious, can Nancy call the sheriff's number yet? Because we already saw it on the phone. Oh, that's a fridge. good question. Is it in the directory? Oh, what? Habits. Yeah, we can. Sure. Oh, Is there maybe a cool answering machine? This game had good phone calls. Mm hmm. I like Geza. Hernandez. Hi. Hey. Are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah. How's that doing? You heard what happened to him? You heard what happened to him? Of course. I'm the sheriff. I hear everything. You gonna pull through? It looks that way, yes. They're going to keep him in the hospital for a day or two just to be sure. Good. That's good. Only met him a couple of times, but I liked him. He and his wife. What's her name? Bet. Short for Elizabeth. Hmm. They seem real determined to make a go of that place. I like that. Huh. So, what can I do for you? Uh, let's is see. this Alejandro Del Rio's voice actor? I'm pretty sure it is, but this Did is you fascinating to hear him talk. Phantom horse that showed up at Shadow Ranch last night? Did you say phantom horse? Just before Ed was bitten by that snake, this glowing horse came galloping up outside, then went galloping away. Glowing horse? Listen to Sounds this. to me like somebody's playing a joke. Friend of Shorty's, I'll bet, trying to get a rise out of him, and probably <laughs> succeeding knowing Shorty. <laughs> 
Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. Thanks for your help. Those Anytime. are bold words, Sheriff. That's interesting, actually, because, um... It does, because that kind of puts the fourth suspect we haven't met yet in a... Like, it kind of just pins things well, on. Not just that, just the fact that we could talk to them in general. Um, you can go to talk to Tex, I'll save my thought. Look at how handsome this man is. <laughs> Need something? Oh, I guess there's Talk nothing. To you later. Just stay out of trouble. Okay, yeah. So as I was saying, uh, you don't have to call Hernandez until day two for a reason that we'll get to. Dude, he's so clearly peeing on the chickens. <laughs> this <laughs> but, is not acceptable. This okay, is animal abuse. Okay, okay. But as I was saying, you don't have to call Hernandez till day two, actually. So it was kind of interesting to hear him talk on day one mm -hmm. in a different context because I think that was actually a unique dialogue that is not played on the second day. I had definitely never heard that. It was Especially a very with a casual him. conversation with him. A good old Hernandez. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. All right, is that everything? Anything I can do for you Yeah, now? just get a canteen. Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Sorry, guys. Every single time that yeah, verse that's ends, true. we have to do that. <laughs> it's irresistible. <laughs> Honestly, is now we talk to Tex, right? Oh, this is such a goofy puzzle, but I feel like we should just bullshit it like always because it's it's so easy. <laughs> May I go writing now? Yep. If you got everything I told you, you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, when it comes to horses, talk yeah, to just stay out of trouble. We're absolutely bullshitting this. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tradition to do so. <laughs> yeah, there's no better way to say it. Uh come here, Bob. What is a mule? Well, I want to see how much like I remember or know. Yeah, let, I, I, I let's see if we can get them all one all in a row. This is gonna be embarrassing. Oh, we're definitely not gonna. No, I, okay, okay. Let's let's co-sign on every answer. All right, Tex, put up that bandana to save on animation. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for some questions? You bet. Cocky. Where's a horse's hocks? Oh. A horse's. Okay, I think I know this one. The hocks is a uh, back legs. Are you sure? Pretty sure. On its back legs. That's one out of ten. Yeah. Oh. Let's do something else. Where's a horse's frog? Frog is. Uh, I th I think it's between its ears. No, no, no. That that would be its its brain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I think it's bottom of its hoof because that's like the the weird the part you put the horseshoe on. Two out of ten. Okay. Yeah, okay. Way to go. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's fifteen hands? Uh, fifteen hands. Okay, this is an easy one. One hand is supposed to be five feet. Uh, one, wait, what? no. One no hand. Way. <laughs> one hand is. What am I saying? Okay, it. it five, five feet. Five is the only divisible. Down, seven to go. So that's easy. Else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? Ooh. A paint horse, right? I th paint horse sounds familiar. Let me see all the options. It's either, Yolo. It's either paint or gated. Nope. No! Oh, it must have been gated then. Can you tell if a horse is colicking? Uh, keeps lying down, standing up. I know this one. Lying down, then standing up. That's four right. I don't know that's what colicking means else. though. Mm -mm. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Chestnut is. God, this Chest one's such Wizard a terrible Wizard 101? <laughs> Wizard 101 Chestnut Pony. Nope. No! Wizard 101 lied to us. <laughs> what tribe bred the first Appaloosa? Uh, the Navajo or Nez Pierce? Nope. Oh, uh, no I thought it was okay. the Sioux. And now we're on a losing streak. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? Uh, it's back, I think. Probably, it's yeah. Back. Nope. Oh my goodness! Wow, we cannot catch a break now. Cinch. Okay, this one's definitely cinch. The cinch. That's fine. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What is a mule? Uh, this right. The offspring of a male horse and a female. No, I think it's the other way. No. Yeah. It was. What kind of a horse is a paso? Okay, gated horse. A gated horse. That was number six. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Is a bay light brown? Mm, a I guess bay so. is light brown. Nope. What in tarnation? <laughs> There's else. no telling them. The okay, Nez Pierce. It's got to be Nez the Pierce. Okay, I thought it was the seven down. Okay. The home stretch. You've played this game more recently than I have. Uh, it was like six months ago. Okay, it's probably the stomach, because when it founders, it it's falls. Stomach. Nope. It's feet. It's, it's gotta be feet then, yeah. The mule? Uh, it's the offspring of this. The offspring of a female horse yeah. and a male donkey. Eight right, just two to go. 
Uh, Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? Okay, gosh. Something about a black bay points. Has black points. This here's your final question. All right. I'm ready. What part of a horse is most likely okay. to be hurt? Definitely not its ears. If it is, I will scream. Well, you all the <laughs> okay, thank right. you. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Cause if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, you can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Bob isn't supposed to be hot or sweaty at all. Okay, Bob. What do you say we do some sightseeing? There's no visible trail here. We're just like off-roading. Yeah. Yeah. Well, off to Mary's gifts then. You know, uh, somebody commented, and I feel like I knew this but forgot it sometime, that uh, Red Knot and Tex are the same voice actor. Which is, Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Which is really, really cool, because I feel like, personally, they would get along with each other. <laughs> I, the addition, like, if Shadow Ranch just took place on the ranch, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't feel as right. I think Mary Assey's shop is a really cool lo location. Apart from all the other places we go to, too, yeah. Hi, can I help you? Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I like that, what I'm trying to say is I like that there's a fourth suspect that's separated from everybody. Hi, are you Mary <laughs> Yazi? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? I rode here. I'm Nancy Drew. So where are you staying? With Ed and Elizabeth Raleigh. In fact, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So hmm. if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just uh, ask. Mary. I understand that you bought a trunk full of junk from the Raleigh's recently. Yeah, we saw the receipt yeah, for that, didn't they we? they didn't mm -hmm. want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. May I take Certainly a look something at important. it? Sure, it's right over there. It was great talking to you. Come in again. All right. Uh, that's the trunk right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I feel like. Looks really old. E H A H. Eh ah. Eh ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something Ooh. from it. Is this is this a job for the Allen wrenches? There's a death note inside. <laughs> okay, uh, so we just throw these in. Oh, okay. you know the weirdest thing? I actually remember the solution. I is but it I, 9/11 something? I just remember 9/11. Yeah, it might be. I don't know what else though. I it's I mean we shouldn't do it yet because that's yeah. kind of a sequence um, break. Charlena Purcell in the flesh. Highly. Wow, she uh. She must she, have gotten a facelift for Game 13. Well, she, yeah, she definitely got reconstruction surgery or something. Book her today. Oh, it has a phone number at the bottom. A meticulous, tireless researcher, Miss Purcell knows more about what went on in 19th century Arizona than, mo than do most historians. Excellent syntax. Okay. Yeah, thinking about it... I'm sure that will come up. <laughs> thinking about it, I feel like, um... What, do you, who, what are the names? Uh, Tex, Redknot, and Ollie would be, like, great buddies. That's a good point. Yeah, they, they all seem very similar. Oh, this is senior detective. My oh, bad. Oh, we don't have a task list. That's actually going to be really bad. Yeah, it is. Okay, level one. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is a reskin of the one game from, uh, final scene, right? The bees, the knees, bees, jazz game. bees, knees. Okay, now go towards him. And now back up. Yeah, you got this one. Easy money. Get duped, you stupid coyotes. This is gonna get a lot harder now. <laughs> I don't understand why they have to move so slow. Okay, this one's not that bad. You wanna move up to the middle. To the left now. To the left? Yeah, I'd say. Like, give that one some time. Now go up. I would think I'd go like this. Oh, maybe not. They kind of look like the doge face. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's It might just be the yellow coloring. Wait, I'm screwed. Okay, yeah, reset this one. Hungry. Huzzah! Uh, what do we get for this? I 
for? I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> I just wanted to, I just wanted to do it. Cool. An old token. Oh yeah. Oh no! Now it's coming back to me with this. <laughs> dry Creek merchants. What in the world is Dry Creek? What is this? F H. For Francis Humber. Tuning Fuh. forks. Cool. Tuning forks are cool. What are they for? Pianos. Well, they're for sensing vibrations. Huh. I don't know but, how that works. Yeah, I guess you can use them on it. What's this? It's like a scrapbook of some sort? Bunch of different photography? Oh, huh. Native American stuff because Mariazzi. I mean, just that one. What's the other one? Oh, this one too. Mm -hmm. Some pictographs on there. Petroglyphs, that's what it is. Hmm. This will definitely be relevant very soon. Absolutely. Mm. So this was. That looks like a real image too. That's pretty cool. I think it is, yeah. So this was almost like a form of hieroglyphs. I mean, it was, but like not ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, but Native American. Yes, so. Let's see if we can ask her. Can I help you with something? Uh, are there many petroglyphs around here? Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. Ooh. A lot of them were probably made by New the location. Anasazi. They lived in the area until the about Anasazi. 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, <laughs> but I don't know what. So you're just putting antique coins into the machine that you pay like 50 oh, cents to play? I thought you were talking, yeah. talking to you. <laughs> Ride safely. Well, uh, Our... hey, that's a lead on the Anasazi, so how about we head out to um, Cougar Bend? Oh, and we have the trail stop, too, available now. Yeah, let's just do Cougar Bend for now. Uh, yeah. I remember the Anasazi just being, like, a pretty a pretty cool uh, culture that we learned about in school, because it was really creepy, because the Anasazi was one of those civilizations that just kind of picked up and left, like she said, except it wasn't that they really migrated anywhere. They just disappeared and, like... There were never any mass graves found or anything, or burial mounds. Maybe they found Atlantis. <laughs> they were landlocked in the middle of the American <laughs> Southwest, Julian. Well, that's what they want you to think. Is that an arrowhead? But oh, yeah, just start collecting. The Anasazi were like the the Maya. They were very similar in terms of how dog they suddenly disappeared. That is a dog. Astute observation. With a horn. <laughs> it's a dog or corn. That looks like... It looks like Squidward when he was doing the jellyfish game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, that was Squidward, right? It was so like... When he was doing his, um... One of his dance recitals or something, yeah. <laughs> he tried to edit in a clip of it. <laughs> <laughs> the Anasazi knew about Spongebob long before we did. Anasazi predicts Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I have a lasso? I don't think I mastered no. that class yet. No, I don't we're have gonna that. need some more text I, lessons. I don't have that training point unlocked. 